اداروں میں نئی تعلیمی پالیسی کو نافذ کرنے کے لیے ایکشن پلان کو حتمی شکل دینے کے لیے لداخ یونیورسٹی میں دو روزہ قومی تعلیمی پالیسی کون کے لیے منعقد ہوا یونیورسٹی آف لداخ کے سینئر فیکلٹی کے علاوہ تمام حلقے کالجوں اور پالی ٹیکنک کالجوں کے پرنسپلز اور فیکلٹی اسکواسٹ کے نمائندوں نے مل بیٹھ کر آئندہ سے نئی تعلیمی پالیسی کے نفاذ کے لیے ایکشن پلان تیار کیا ہے کمشنر سیکرٹری محکمہ اعلیٰ تعلیم پدما انگو جو لداخ اسکل ڈیولپمنٹ مشن کے مشن ڈائریکٹر بھی ہیں نے کہا ہے کہ نئی تعلیمی پالیسی نے پیشہ وارانہ تعلیم روزگار کی مہارتوں پر زیادہ زور دینے کے ساتھ ساتھ تعلیم میں ایک انقلاب کا آغاز کیا ہے انہوں نے لداخ میں اعلیٰ تعلیم کی حالت کو بہتر بنانے کے لیے ضرورت پر زور دیا ہے تاکہ طلباء کو یہاں ایک, ایک جیسی معیاری تعلیم حاصل کرنے کا اختیار مل سکے وائس چانسلر ایس کے مہتا نے کہا ہے کہ جبکہ موجودہ سیشن سے پی جی کورسز کے لیے لداخ یونیورسٹی میں این پی این ای پی کا نفاذ پہلے ہی شروع ہو چکا ہے کالج اگلے سیشن سے این ای پی کے رول آؤٹ کے لیے تیار ہو جائے گا the individuals. Now this is about the dignity of the colleges. My Zanskar College would always be named along with Gargi College. That I am giving a dual degree, Zanskar Kadak University dash Delhi University degree. Or it may be that Ladakh University dash Golan University. Now in this direction, whatever specifically we can achieve from a very purely selfish motive that today I do not have the academic strength to achieve this. Let me get help from others who are willing to help and achieve that strength. And I would say that even 10 years hence, when I have the academic strength, there is absolutely no harm In fact, it is to the advantage of Ladakh that I have dual degrees, that Ladakh University dash MIT. Why not? This would give strength to you. Because my self-interest is that Ladakh University and our edu higher education system should stand at par with the best universities in the country. And that can happen only when I take outside help in a calculated, deliberate manner and work on it for achieving this from the next academic session itself. I know it is a tall order, but uh, we have very experienced teachers, we have a very distinguished vice chancellor, and I am sure that some achievements in this direction may become possible. You have the Forensic Science University who are prepared to give a dual degree. So, there are uh, ready-made instances. FTII, you are already making a beginning. Which is, uh, I would uh, actually uh, want a round of applause for first Ladakh FTII degree together. That is the first time it is happening. I would like that to happen more and more uh, because this is what gives you name This is what gives you fame, this is what gives you strength. And we must therefore... Also, I remember in January when I joined the UT administration, Honorable Lieutenant Governor simply told me that he wants each and every youth of Ladakh to be certified. He said every youth of Ladakh should be skilled and the skill should be certified. When South Korea can have 92% of its workforce skilled, why can't Ladakh have a similar aim Uh, however, sir, it's, it's difficult, it's, it's a tall order, I would say, uh, because the percentage of enrollment, rather the percentage of certification across the country is very low at 5% as per the available data. So national education policy gives two targets to all the education institutions. One is that the gross enrollment ratio by 2025 has to be 50%. And secondly, that the vocational education to at least 50% of those enrolled in the higher